The next concept we'll be understanding is whether a grammar is ambiguous or not. A grammar is said to be ambiguous if the language generated by the grammar contains some strings that has two different past trees. So if the grammar has got two different past trees for some string, I can say that the grammar is ambiguous. So now let's take one example over here. Given a question, test whether the given grammar is ambiguous for the string 0101 and the production rules are given over here. So now let's begin. So as we know that a given grammar is ambiguous if I am able to construct up two past trees for a string. Now let's check whether I can construct up two past trees for the string 0, 1, 0, 1. So I begin with the start symbol and I use up the production rules 0, S, 1, S. Okay. Since I need 0 in the beginning, I use this production rule 0, S, 1, S. Now for this S, if I use the derivation S deriving in epsilon, going forward for this S, I use the derivation 0, S, 1, S. Okay. Checking for the leftmost symbol over here is my S. For this S, if I can use the derivation S deriving in epsilon, and for this S, also I use the derivation S deriving in epsilon. So here you can see that I was able to derive the string. That is the leaf nodes. That is 0, epsilon, 1, 0, epsilon, 1, epsilon. So this is nothing but 0, 1, 0, 1. That's how I construct up the string 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So now let's see whether I can construct up a different pass tree. So I start with rule S deriving 0. S one S two different things. Here I have substituted S deriving in epsilon, so I'll be trying to use some other rule other than S deriving in epsilon. So I have two options. Okay. Now looking at the string over here, I know that I need one. So, which rule will give me 1 is this rule. Okay, so, I substitute for this S, I substitute 1 S 0 S. Okay. Now, for this S, I substitute an epsilon. For this S, I substitute an epsilon. Similarly, for this S, I substitute an epsilon. So here, the string generated is the leaf nodes, that is 0, 1, epsilon, 0, epsilon, and 1, epsilon. So that is 0, 1, epsilon, 0, epsilon. 1 epsilon, which would be 0, 1, 0, 1, straight. So look at the two different pass trees over here. So here I could construct up the string 0, 1, 0, 1 using two different pass trees. So I can say that the grammar is ambiguous. So given grammar is ambiguous because I 
ट्रांसलेट विद आप टू पास्ट्रीज तो द स्ट्रिंग जीरो वन जीरो वन